morning, Springfield. Pastor Dave here with the announcements. The first announcement is obvious. We wish you a happy and blessed, joyous Easter. I realize that this is going to be an odd and difficult holiday for many as we're separated from our loved ones, our family, and our church family, but let us remember what we celebrate on this day. We celebrate the risen Lord. We celebrate the one who has overcome the grave and the troubles of this world. He is still with us. God is still on the throne. His promises are still in effect, and he will make this work out for our good. Now, if we were all together today, and my friend and brother Butch Weaver were leading worship today, I'd say there would be a pretty good chance that he would have us get up and greet each other. And while we're not together, I would encourage you to get out your directory today and give someone a call and greet them and check up on each other. It's one way that we can be together while we're apart, especially on this most important of days. As far as announcements go, right now it's pretty short. The official board met by conference call this week and came to the following conclusion. We will be closed the rest of the month as per government guidelines. We will still have services online. I'll still be mailing the sermons to all who are not online. And we'll still have Bible study via Zoom. And that has really been good, I have to tell you. If you haven't checked it out yet, please do. And just a reminder that you can mail your tithes and offerings to Bob Pickering at home. His address is in the directory. Please do not mail cash. We've also made the difficult decision to postpone Love Feast in the spring. We are still hopeful that some of the limitations will be lifted at the end of the month, but we've decided to delay the service until such a time as we can really focus on it and give the service all the attention it deserves. Now, last week we had a reminder, and I want to bring that up again. We've had at least two families who've experienced great losses this week, and your church family grieves with you. Added to that, the fact that many people are struggling with all that is going on right now. I feel like we need to claim this reminder again and then add a new one to it. I want to start off with an acknowledgement. Let's say it together. God is good all the time and all the time God is good. Now, this time when I say God is good, I want you to say all the time. And when I say all the time, I want you to say God is good. God is good and all the time. God is good, and all the time, and again, we need to hold on to that. But on this day, there is one more reminder. Jesus is risen. He is risen indeed. Now this time, when I say Jesus is risen, I want you to say, he is risen indeed. Jesus is risen. Jesus is risen. Jesus is risen. He really is. Let us pray. Father God, we come to you today with humble and glad hearts for all that you have done for us, especially as we celebrate this Easter day. God, we celebrate how Jesus came and laid down his life for us and then rose from the dead. Lord, he came to set us free. Lord, help us to walk in freedom and live in freedom today. Lord, I know that many of us have things weighing on our hearts today. We lift those up to you. We think of our families who are mourning loved ones today, and we pray, Lord, that your hand of grace and peace would be upon them. Lord, that you would give them your comfort in this time. Lord, we know that there are many who are just struggling with all the stuff that's going on around us today. We lift that up to you as well. Lord, help us to remember in these difficult times that you are still on the throne and Jesus is still risen and we still have hope in you. Lord, let us live in your grace today. Lord, help us to walk in your peace today. God, I pray that each of us would be a light to someone today. I pray, Lord, that even in these conditions where we are basically stuck at home, Lord, that we would still be able to reach out today, share your love today, and glorify you today. Lord, we thank you again for all that you have done for us. We thank you for all you continue to do. Lord, we pray, believing that you will bring us through this, that you will bring us together again, Lord. And Lord, we pray that you would allow us in the meantime to honor and glorify you. We pray that these messages will go far and wide and that they will touch the hearts of many. God, we thank you for all that you do. We thank you for who you are. Lord, we pray healing for those who need healing, comfort for those who need comfort, peace for those who need peace. 
And God, we pray all these things in the wonderful, precious, holy name of Jesus, the name that is above every name. It's in his name we pray. Amen. Please remember, you are not alone. If you have a need, please contact me or your deacon. Our numbers are in the directory. This week, remember, God is good. And all the time, Jesus is risen. I'm so looking forward to when we can worship together again. In the meantime, share these messages, send the letter, make the call, send the card, stay connected. I saw a video that I think pretty much expresses what I will be like when we can get together again. Well, maybe without the cartwheels and the dumpster, you just have to see it for yourselves. Happy Easter, everyone. Jesus is risen. God bless. Thank you.